Warning, the side hustle shown in this video has been proven to work by data. So, watching this video may cause a spontaneous outbreak of money getting. And don't worry, we're going to use tools like Google Gemini AI to make this side hustle super easy. In fact, I am going to show you, start to finish, exactly how I set this side hustle up using AI to start getting paid fast. And no, you don't need any money to start. In fact, all the tools you need are available free online. Just take a look at this example. One post making $536 each and every month. Here's another one, $2,300 a month. And another, banking over $870 a month. $817, $13,800. So as you can see, the proof is in. This side hustle makes money. So if you're tired of info overload and all the videos telling you to do things that don't work, like make a bunch of stickers and get rich or create some coffee cup that's guaranteed to make you money. So today we're cutting the flag and I'm going to show you real stuff that makes money if you do it. That's right. This side hustle makes money online guaranteed. And in the next 45 minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up and prove to you that this will put tons of money in your pocket. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Today we are going to break it down and show you exactly what you need to know to be able to profit online with a very simple side hustle. This is something easy that anyone can do. It does take a little bit of work and effort, but it can be done using free tools, paid tools, pretty much whatever you want. And this is the kind of thing where you can start right away. We hinted at this in Monday's video where I talked about using celebrity names to get traffic. It's something that's actually very, very easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this down and show you exactly how it works, starting from the beginning and then finishing at the end. So what we're gonna do here is first, we're gonna look at the celebrity niche, all right? We know that Many, many people are obsessed with celebrities and public figures and all kinds of things like that. And they're obsessed with what they do, what they drive, how much money they make, what kind of stuff they use, and the whole nine yards. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this as what we know as the new low-hanging fruit traffic. Now, in the past, we've talked about low-hanging fruit as keywords and long tail and stuff like that. What we're doing here is a little bit different because we're not just going to be using Google rankings and making money with Google rankings. We are gonna use multiple ways to get traffic and it's actually extremely simple. So what we're gonna do first and foremost is we are going to pick a celebrity niche, okay? In this example, I actually went through, I got a domain name, we're gonna set the whole thing up, we're gonna show you how it works live and walk you through the whole process, okay? The process is from finding that niche to making the money. Now, when we go through, we are going to see lots of different things that are looked up based on celebrities. We have chefs, we have financial advisors, we have people doing therapy, people talking about life, all kinds of stuff. So what we're going to do is we are going to pick one celebrity niche, okay? Now, it doesn't matter what celebrity you're using, what matters is the niche. As a whole, we are gonna pick something like maybe chefs or uh, financial advisors, or maybe you can even do like pastors or something like that, okay? Now, the reason we're using this is because there's tons of traffic and a lot of people don't know how to monetize this traffic, so they don't use it properly, which means that we can do this in an easy way and get lots of traffic and make lots of money. Now, one of the biggest opportunities online is the fact that many people don't know how to monetize traffic, right? You see lots of YouTubers, they're making pennies on the dollar. You see influencers, they're making uh, pennies on the dollar. And this is a huge gap that you can use to make money. Let me show you how it works in a real world way. So when we go through here, what we're gonna do is use Gemini Advanced, uh, ChatGPT, uh, pretty much whatever it is you want to use, it, whatever you like, it doesn't really matter what it is. You could use a free tool, paid tool, or whatever it is, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna look at 
different celebrities. So if I was using Google Gemini, okay, I'm purposely using the non-advanced version so that when people are like, do you need money to do this? The answer is no, you don't. You can use the free version. Now, what I was doing is I was going through and looking at the various different celebrities, okay? This was done with AI. It's very simple. Uh, what we did is we had this report. I will have this report available for you at downloadmynotes.com. So at any time during or after this video, you can go there, get this notes, and put these through your keyword tools as well. Now, I'm going to try my best to use free keyword tools so that you can duplicate this, right? We want something anyone can duplicate. Money is not an issue. Nothing's an issue. We want something that you can utilize. Now, we are also going to use a couple of tools. For those that are in this to win this, I would highly recommend getting your own domain and website, which I will show you in just a little bit. Okay, very simple, very easy, and I think we have our theme ready as well. So let me get this ready uh, as well. So this is going to be a little bit um, technical of a webinar for me to do because there's a lot going on, um, but I want to make sure that you see it and you know exactly what's happening. Now, what I did just to show you that the playing field is leveled, I had one of my assistants, one of my outsourcers who works in my content business, who is not an expert on celebrities or anything of that matter. I leveled the playing field and I said, just go find me a bunch of celebrities in various different niches. Now, she went through, she found celebrity chefs, doctors, uh, lifestyle, singers, finance, all kinds of different things like that. Now, we are going to utilize some of these, but what we want to do is we want to look at the ones that are going to have the highest value proposition, okay? Like finance obviously is going to hit a bigger market that pays a lot more money than say something like, um, you know, singers or whatever. Chefs and, and cook stuff is going to fetch a lot more money because we're dealing with something that they're actually going to buy. So looking at this report, we're looking pretty good. We are, we're getting there, okay? Now what we wanna do is first and foremost, pick the one that we want, okay? Let's say we wanna do finance. Maybe you're into finance or maybe you're into this or that or, or whatever it is, okay? You are gonna pick one. For our example here, we are utilizing up here, way up here. All right, this is a good report, so you're going to want to get that at downloadmynotes.com. We are going to use the celebrity chefs. Now, when I go through and use something like Google Bard or ChatGPT, I can get these lists and I can put them in tables right like this in a super simple way. Now, what I did is I actually had it go through is look at um, expanded celebrity chefs and all kinds of things like that. Okay, very, very cool. We want to look at this and say, okay, this is what we have, okay? And we're gonna say, expanded celebrity chefs, we have the list right here like this, okay? Very, very cool. And we look at this and we're like, okay, now how are we going to take this a step further? What I could do is I could say, please take this table, okay? And we're gonna do something like this. Please take this table here and add the celebrity items or cook specialties. All right, right like this. Okay, Cole says um, all BS he does is take paid him. Okay, so if you're having a complaint about not getting help, then you're not showing up on the calls. If you show up on the Thursday call, you'll get help. If you show up on the Tuesday call, you'll get help. Now, if you're expecting to get like tons of help here, I mean, I really can't do that. There's a lot going on here. Um, you would want to see those specific calls, all right? We have support that is unparalleled. If anyone knows about our support, tell us what you think in the comments there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, please take this table here and add the celebrity items or cook specialties, okay? We're going to go ahead and put this here, and we're going to see if it'll add the, the specialties. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take this and start to use this in a real-world way, okay? So let's see... Okay, let's get the tables here. Or we could even add it in here. Now please add, yeah, like Robert says, we have the best support if you use it, right? You have to use it. I mean, you can't expect us to know what you want without telling you, um, but our support is second to none. Um, and if you reach out to them, they will help you with whatever uh, you have an issue with, okay? So now please add a column on the table with the top used items 
by each chef. Okay, this is gonna go through and it's gonna get us an overview of what's going on. And it's gonna actually ask us, okay, which one do you want? And I'm gonna say ingredients, let's see here, top used item knives, oil, sea salt. Okay, so we could do something like this, niche. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go with this one here. And then we can say, now please narrow it down and add, add, let's see, add the actual items. Yeah, Cole, you gotta be on the Thursday call if, if you're needing help with that. I mean, we're, I'm literally on like, if you're in boot camp, there's like literally three calls a week. Um, half the time on the Thursday call, we, you know, just do whatever you guys ask because we run out of, uh, we run out of questions before we run out of time. Um, so if you go there first and foremost and you're like, hey dude, here's my questions, you will get answers, um, plain and simple. But yeah, um, and I am the person on that call, so you will get help there. Okay, so uh, now please narrow it down and add the actual item, the chef promotes. Okay, very cool like this, and we can go through and get this um, info in a very simple way. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're taking a look at, hey, how does this work, what's going on? Now, what I did is I went through ahead of time, and I actually put the entire list of 25 chefs into our keyword tool. This is the Hoth free keyword tool. It's free, doesn't cost anything, you just go there. Um, and we look at this and we're like, okay, Gordon Ramsay, all of these have lots and lots of traffic, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of them with the highest traffic and we're gonna look up something specific. So we'll go, the Hoth does the bulk. It's free, it costs nothing, all right? Then we're gonna go to the free Ahrefs keyword planner and we're gonna type in Guy Fieri or whatever it is. This is why it's important that we choose our overall niche right? Celebrity niche. What are we going to do? Are we doing cooks? Okay. And you're going to do this overall. You're not just going to focus on one. So now we have like Guy Fieri and all this other stuff. We can go through and put something like Guy Fieri cookware. Okay. Or Guy Fieri pans or pots or whatever it is. What kind of knife does he use? Now, what we're seeing here is that 450 people a month are looking up Guy Fieri cookware. Okay. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to put that on my list here. Okay, you can use Notepad or, or, or Word or whatever it is you want, okay? So we're gonna go like that, and then I would also do like Guy Fieri pan, pans or, or pots or whatever it is. Okay, Guy Fieri pans, and now we're at 750 searches a month just for Guy Fieri cookware and pans. Then we can do something like knives or seasoning or whatever it is, right? So now we got another 250, Guy Fieri Knives. How many of you guys are like, okay, I see how this is adding up because once I do this, I am now going to have my celebrity niche, which is chef. All right. Then I'm going to have Guy Fieri and I have approximately, I think when we're done with this, we're going to have uh, roughly 1,500 searches a month just for Guy Fieri cookware, not including Guy Fieri, which gets way more traffic than just the cookware. Okay, this is important because we're not just going for SEO. This is not just about ranking on Google. If you've tried ranking on Google and you found it difficult, don't worry. This is your hallelujah moment. We are going to teach you ways to do this in other ways. Now, when we go through, we could also say, well, what about Gordon Ramsay? All right, Gordon Ramsay, pots, pans, whatever. Again, we're probably going to look at another, I don't know, he's pretty popular, so probably like 5,000 searches a month. So if we do like uh, Gordon Ramsay knives, Gordon Ramsay, hopefully I spell it right. Always makes me think of, uh, uh, what is it? Nacho Libre. Ramses, how are you? Right, so we have uh, Gordon Ramsay knives, 800. We have Gordon Ramsay pans, right? So 800, 4,400, 4, so now we're 5,000. Let's do cookware. All right, so now we got Gordon Ramsay stuff, which is hovering right around, I'm gonna say more than 10,000 searches a month there. So between the two of these, we are at 
you know, 15,000 uh, or, or 1,500, no, I'm sorry, 10,500, 11,500 uh, searches per month. Okay, so what we're seeing here is there is a lot of traffic going on. Now, what we want to do next is decide how we're going to promote, okay? If you guys have a couple of bucks, let's see if my uh, whiteboard thing here works. If you guys have a couple of bucks, I highly recommend getting some kind of web hosting and a website. And I'll show you why this is important in just a minute. Okay. Um, so if you have, come on now, come on, you can, there we go. If you have, uh, I think it's like $10 a month or whatever, right? I, I, it's less than $100 for the entire year, I believe, something like that. Um, you could go to go hub site.com. Now over at gohubsite.com, you can get web hosting. It'll teach you how to do it. Very simple, okay? For $100 a year plus domain, I think they give you a domain, makes it super easy, okay? So we are gonna go through and we are going to set this up in an easy way. Now what I did is I went through and we looked at several domains utilizing Spamzilla. Now utilizing Spamzilla right like this, you can go through and you can do cookware. Okay, something easy. What you want is something very easy. Cookware sets.info, cookware set ratings, or whatever it is. We want something easy. Now, what I went through is I found um, it was Top, Top Chef or something like that. Top, uh, let me see, where is it? It was, let me see, I got it set up here on the thing WP Toolkit, and it is. Come on, you can load. We wait and wait and wait. Okay. So now we're gonna go through and I'm using top10chef.com. Now I also got it with the, the one zero just in case um, so that it would, you know, you know it's, it's like, okay, here we go. Uh, this is working. Okay, very simple. Now what I did on top 10 chef is I went ahead and, and put WordPress on it. We are going to um, log in and show you how this works. It's actually very simple. You're just going to put affiliate links and things like that. Now, the reason I got top10chef.com is because it's easy, it's generic, and it has to do with like celebrities. Hey, there's a top 10 chefs. And I think it also might have had some backlinks. I don't remember, um, but very simple, okay? I want something that if I'm doing video or I'm doing Pinterest, it's going to show up on the site really easy, right? Because if you, if you have a big URL, and you're on Pinterest, right? It looks like this. You're gonna be like, okay, here's my Pinterest. And it's like the top Gordon Ramsay knives or whatever, okay? If I have topchefwhatever.com, it's gonna get really small. But if I have something like top10chef.com, okay? That's gonna fit very nicely. Does that make sense? Like if I'm on mobile, it's not gonna be so small of font it's going to be easy. Now, the reason I did not choose the top secret chef is because I did find that there was a trademark with uh, secret chef. So I was like, okay, just to be safe, I'm going to get one without a trademark and you can do a trademark search to see that. Okay. So very simple. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my plan. Once I have everything, I'm going to go through and say, okay, now I need my list of all the chefs and all the traffic. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to make some kind of content. We can do this with faceless videos. All right, a lot of people talk about faceless videos as a side hustle, but they don't really tell you how to do it. This is, this is telling you how to do it. I'm gonna show you how to set these up. It's actually super easy. I'm gonna be using Camtasia. You're welcome to use uh, Canva. You're welcome to use any editor for video, free or paid, doesn't really matter. We're gonna use AI voices if you don't wanna use your own voice. Very simple, okay? So we have the chefs here, or let's say you wanna do the finance one. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a strategy that there is a YouTuber, he does face videos, so you know, Maybe you'll make a little less with faceless videos, but this guy's an animal and he goes out there and does videos all the time. And how he started was by talking about different celebrities because they have the traffic. Okay. If you go out there and you try to sell pots and pans, you're going to, you're going to be competing with Amazon and target and all these other people. But if I go out here and I'm like, 
here's you know here's a little Pinterest with the top 10 knives that Gordon Ramsay recommends or recipes or whatever here's a Pinterest with the cookware that Guy Fieri uses although I have yet to see him cook right here's this one and we can do videos and that guy that is doing this in the financial niche talking about it, it was the guru stuff right and he was talking about all the gurus and because of their traffic he now last I heard is making about 30 million dollars a year now don't quote me on that I don't know him personally but it is one that actually works and this is a strategy that I have used as well it's something very simple it's much like years ago the wealthy affiliate people said oh hey here's this thing go buy, write a bunch of reviews and I don't agree with the way people wrote reviews because it was basically this guy bad buy our product that's not legit stuff it's also not a review if you're just saying this guy bad go buy this and you'll notice there's lots of reviews out there about me and they all promote the same thing showing that they are in fact biased and 99% of them never bought the product that's an unethical way to do it however if you're talking real stuff like hey here's the pans that this guy uses that's something that you don't have to worry about all that other garbage we can go through and make this work in a simple way and the process works right like I don't like the way they did their reviews but the fact of the matter is this damn thing worked they got lots of traffic they got lots of money utilizing it now we don't have to do the other stuff we're just gonna go and have AI find the things that they want okay so we go through like this and we're like okay now I know what I'm doing now all I need to do is utilize Google Bard or whatever it is Gemini as it were and say what are some of the top cookware items Gordon Ramsay uses slash recommends okay now you might be asking yourself Marcus where is the profit center where is this how does it work and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look up affiliate programs for each one yes it takes some work right you want to make some money it takes work this is a business the results are not typical implied or guaranteed while you can make a bunch of money most people make nothing because most people don't do anything and even when they do stuff they do it wrong or give up or whatever it is most people are, f are spending most of their time on the things that don't matter what I'm doing is I'm showing you the stuff that matters and if you double down and you keep at it you will get a following eventually if you had an Instagram channel that was all about just what celebrities use to cook with you will get traffic it is done deal okay very very simple so we're gonna go through and look at this and be like okay here are the things hex clad all clad whatever this is and a lot of these like hex clad actually has an affiliate program pays 15 percent which is pretty cool because that stuff is expensive right so now we're looking at it we're like okay this is making a lot of sense this is working uh, we can also use Amazon if you use Amazon you can literally have your Amazon um, toolbar up here once you sign up as an Amazon affiliate you can go through and be like hey I want to promote the hex clad whatever non-stick walk pan okay all I would need to do is grab a text link right like this this link right here will pay me when people buy this okay we are we are banking on the volume the volume now Maddie says that uh, nine percent is paid on kitchen stuff that's that's good I did I didn't know it was that high um, that means on this you'd be getting roughly fourteen dollars per sale and all you're doing is showing what Gordon Ramsay uses and things like that or you could show the techniques or different things okay and again we're gonna double down we're gonna make this work in a super simple way let's see if we can log in to um, Top Chef and show you guys what this would look like now once we get started we need to say what is our content going to look like okay if we wanted to do a Pinterest I could quite simply open up Canva or whatever it is and say here is a list of the things that Gordon Ramsay uses very simple okay here's what I found I watched the show here's what he uses and then at the bottom it would say go to um, go to 
top10chef.com. Very simple. How many of you guys get this so far? Smash the like button if you're like, okay, this makes sense. This is something I can actually do. This is something that actually works if I'm willing to do it. Okay, very, very easy. Now, going through with our site, all we got to do is set it up with a theme. And I had, um, if you guys want to make a theme, my uh, assistant made one for me this morning because it, it was a busy morning. You can go to simple blog blog theme.com. Okay, over at simpleblogtheme.com, we have a custom theme that I use, that I've made lots of money with, millions of dollars with, um, and it's very simple and easy. You can make your own logo. Uh, she went through and made that for us, all right? She literally took like five seconds to do it, so Jesse, amazing job. Great job, uh, very cool. So we're gonna go through, and we are going to show in folder, so this is what the download looks like. There it is right there. Okay, she made that theme very simple. And if you want to make the theme, you literally just unzip the file and then you go to images and you'll see that she uh, replaced the logo and everything like that. It's just logo and background. That's all you replace. Zip it back up. Boom, you're done. Once you're done with that, you go to your WordPress right like this, appearance themes, add new theme, upload theme, choose file, and then we'll just choose our downloaded file right here like this. Super simple, install, and you'll see this is what it looks like currently. Once we put the theme on it, you'll see how it works um, after. So we just go here, activate, all right? It was like this. Let's see how Jesse did. Boom, and there we go. So it's got some forks and stuff. It's got a nice little logo. Looking pretty good. How many of you guys are like, okay, this is something I could work with. Again, what you want in a theme. A lot of people say, Marcus, your themes look like they were made in the 1902. And that's fine because stuff has been selling the same way since 1902 for those who have been paying attention. What we want is front and center, easy to use. Just boom, here we go, okay? And we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna say, um, custom, we'll just go into our, our thing here. We're gonna go into uh, do, 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 settings, there we go, there we go. All right, maybe I need more coffee today. So we have settings here, okay? It'll automatically make a secure site, super easy. And then we're gonna go to permalinks and we are gonna choose post name. This is super, super important. Why is this important? Because when I make a post on Ramsey or a different chef or whatever, I don't want them to just go to my website and get all the chefs. I want them to go to the page on the stuff that I found for a specific chef, okay? Using post name, right like this, is going to do that for you. Let me show you what I mean. We'll hit save, okay? Then we're gonna go general, I think it is, or reading, reading, there we go. Under reading, we're gonna do homepage displays, static. Then we're gonna choose sample. Okay, what that's gonna do is it's gonna take it from the hello world stuff to an actual page. This is gonna give us control. Controlling your content is everything. Controlling the flow of how people react and look at your content. People ask me all the time, Marcus, why do you do long video intros? Because I wanna control your experience of the video. There is stuff in those intros that's going to help you get through the other stuff if you're willing to pay attention. And the same thing with this. So we're gonna refresh it. Now we have sample page. Okay, now I can go through and I could do um, something like edit, all right? Let's go back to the classic editor. So I'm gonna do a couple more little house cleaning items. We'll go plugins, we'll go add new plugin. We're gonna do classic editor, we wait, and we hit activate. Then we're gonna do add new, classic widgets, and activate. Okay, that's going to allow us to edit in an easier way. See how this editor is much easier, much much more friendly. We don't want to be wasting time on things that don't make money, which is like design, themes, fonts. They don't make money. What makes money is getting the content out, putting them to things that make you money. So we'll say top chef cookware, right like this, update. And if you want you can go through and be like, okay, well, let's, let's at least keyword load it, okay? 
Uh, Eric says, is this a free side hustle? It is a free side hustle. We are using a blog, which will cost about $9 a month, which last I checked is probably cheaper than going to the McDonald's. So, you know, you can either get um, what they call food or you can get something that uh, will make you a living so you can get some real food, right? Um, but yes, you can do this without a domain. It's just, it, it, you're going to be leaving a lot of money on the table. All right, so now we see that there are keywords I could do maybe uh, something professional chef cookware or something like that, okay? Very simple. We can go along with it. Again, this is not SEO heavy. Don't worry. It, it doesn't hurt to have the keywords in there. Now, if you don't want to have a website, you could use a Google site. You could use a PDF. You could use whatever you want. You could use a raw affiliate link. The problem is, is you're not going to be able to have a disclaimer. If you have an affiliate disclaimer on your post or your video, that's going to diminish the value of the video because, you know, it's just, it's just going to do that. However, if I'm just making a video sharing stuff, they go to my site, that's where I have my affiliate disclaimer, um, which is going to work a lot better. Okay? Very cool. Now, again, remember, don't step on any toes. Don't say that someone recommends something they don't. Don't do anything weird. All we're doing is sharing cool cookware items from popular chefs. Very simple, okay? So now we go through and we create this and we're good to go. I can go through and say, here's Top Chef Cookware. Let's just humor ourselves and we will go like this and we'll see how the ranking does, right? A lot of times what I'll do is I'll just put this on here like this and it'll tell me if I rank for any of these people and the word pans or whatever, okay? So now here we are, we have this top celebrity chef cookware, okay? I can go through, I can fancy this up however I want. I'm gonna get a little picky here because I'm not really digging it being so close to the edge here. Maybe I can go through and say, now please add a blank column before. Let's see if it does that. The chat GPT is gonna help us do a lot of stuff. It is pretty cool. Does it do a blank column? Okay, we need the blank column. Please put the blank column before the chefs. Okay, so we'll wait for this and I'll show you how it works. Again, utilizing ChatGPT and WordPress is like a dynamite combination because ChatGPT knows WordPress better than everyone who works here and we do WordPress all the time, including me. I don't know the ins and outs of codes and stuff, um, ChatGPT actually does. So when we go through, we can do this. This is going to be our main page. Okay, this page is just a placeholder page. Again, the permalink thing is super important. I'm going to show you why in just a minute. So let's go ahead and do this here. There we go. Thank you, old ChatGPT. You can also use Gemini and stuff like that. Like we see, Gemini did uh, create this big list, right? And then I could say, now please make a text only blog post for Chef Ramsey fans that want to know what items he uses. Okay, so notice, hey, I got two things going here. This productivity to the max, right? How many of you guys are digging this? Smash the like button if you're like, hey, this is it. Most people just say, hey, here's a side hustle, get a piece of paper and suddenly you'll be rich. Just, you know, draw a, a happy face on it. Right, we know that that don't work, but we're going to see here that this is something that if you're willing to do it, if you're willing to even do it for free or spend $9, is something you can do. And again, to do that, uh, gohubsite.com is where you can get that. I also have the blog theme there, so going to gohubsite.com is a, a good place to go. Right, so now we can take this, make it look a little better. Celebrity Chef. Okay, where'd we go? Edit. Right like this. Okay, so now we have that blank column, which if you want to like bootleg it, dot, 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 make the dots white, or you could even put a uh, image, like a blank image or whatever. Um, a lot of times I'll use a blank image because it's like, hey, I don't want to call my designer every time I need to do something simple. I'll just put an image here like this, and you can see uh, what it looks like. There we go. That did a pretty good job of making it there. How many of you guys are like, well, that's a cool little hack. That works good. You just put some dots or a, a blank image or whatever. Blank images are your best friend. Okay, so now I got this list. I can tidy it up. I can make it however uh, fancy I want. You know, just 
go through. And if you want to space it out a little, right, like this, very simple. Okay, don't overthink it. People overthink this stuff, and it's why they don't make money, because they're just too busy thinking about stuff instead of making things that are going to work. Okay, so now we got this. We're like, okay, cool, simple. There we go. It's looking good. And uh, reload. There we go. Okay, next what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of the sidebar stuff over here. Okay, super simple. We're going to go um, over to appearance. Ho widgets, the H is silent. And we just take all these blocks, put them over here, and bada bing, bada bang, ta da! Now we got this looking good. Okay, you can have pictures, you can have whatever you want. Okay, we're just getting the basic lay of the land. Now, the part that's going to be super, 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 super important is why we did the permalinks. Remember, we went here and we did um, settings, permalinks, and we chose post name. This is super important. Okay, the reason we want to do this, because if I make a video, I don't want to say, hey, go to my site, top10chef.com, slash 52, slash 808, slash Gordon Ramsay pans are good for you, dot com. Yeah, I don't want that. Nobody's going to type that in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go new. Okay, you just do this for every chef. Post or page, whatever you fancy, doesn't really make a difference. Posts will get picked up a little bit faster in my experience. So we could go all post, add new post. We're gonna say, okay, we get our keyword. We'll do Gordon Ramsay cookware. Okay, or whatever it is. Try to find a keyword that, that you could probably rank for. Okay, or you can even do like, what does Gordon Ramsay use or whatever it is, or even like discontinued. If there's a discontinued one, you could say, well, here's something that people think is similar. Very simple, okay? So we would go through and be like, okay, Gordon Ramsay cookware set or cookware review or whatever. Okay, so we'll do like this, add. Then we're gonna go through and take our blog post that the old uh, Bard Gemini thing came up with. Yep. If you do sound effects, I tell you, your job's gonna be much more fun. All right, so we're going to go through and we can add this here. Again, we don't worry too much about SEO. I'm not using SEO plugins. I'm not doing all this crazy stuff. Okay, we're going to go through and make it work in a simple way. There we go. Now, all I got to do is tidy it up. Okay, don't really need that. Elevate your kitchen. And let's just say um, like Ramsey. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Then all I'm going to do is get my affiliate links. Right, so let's say I want to do hexclad. Amazon, go here, generate, right? So once you're an Amazon affiliate, it'll go right here. You click text link, bada bing, bada boom, copy. And we're gonna put, click here to get the hexclad pans or whatever, okay? Boom, I'm gonna make it like that. I'm gonna put my link in here. Okay, we'll just do open in a new tab, put it right there like that, add link. I'm very picky about my links. I like to have them this color blue right here. Publish. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now ready to make money. I can get traffic. I can drive them here. They can click on that. I can get paid. I've done it. I've been doing this since the dawn of time, it seems. I've been doing this for 25 years. It's very simple. Now, the question is, okay, anyone can do this. How many of you guys are like, I can do it? Type, I can do it in the chat box and in the comments below. If you think, yeah, I got this. I can do this. I can follow along. I might need to watch this a couple more times, but there we go. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to start to make our content. Now, the cool thing about this is we just made the content. Like Google Gemini, not even the advanced, just the old chilled out free Gemini went through and found this stuff. So now I can go through and say, okay, cool. Now I could go over to something like 11 labs. Where's 11 labs? There we go. And I could go through and I can create a voiceover, right? All I got to do is say, elevate your kitchen like Ramsey, gear up with Gordon's go-to cookware, blah, 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 blah. Very simple. All right. Generate. So we just go like this. It'll generate the file. Might take a minute or two or three, which is good. We got coffee. We're going we're gonna to be all right here. Elevate right? your kitchen then, like Ramsey. There we go. Gear up with. Let's turn it up. I think you guys can hear it. There we go. And again, you might be saying, well, Marcus, 
Isn't that a robot voice? Can't you like not make money with a robot voice? Well, you can't monetize with a robot voice, but that's not to say you can't make money because what we're going to do is we're going to use this traffic to drive tons of people over to top, what is it, top chef something or other. I keep forgetting the domain. Top 10 chef, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to drive them over to that stuff, okay? Andrew says, uh, will it not dislike it as it has AI generated text? Let me ask you a question. How many of you guys have been on Instagram and TikTok and you see tons of robot generated voices? Like they dominate it. I don't, I don't think there's any humans making videos on there anymore. It's all the robots. As a joke, calm down. I do realize that humans make videos. Um, but when we're looking at this, it's like, okay, what we're doing is we're utilizing this traffic. Okay, we're utilizing the traffic of these things. And when we go out there and we look at like TikTok, go out there and look at, um, you know, something like Gordon Ramsay pans or, or Top Chef pans or whatever, and you double down on this, what's going to happen is people are going to be like, well, this guy talks about the Top Chef items. I like um, doing this, so there we go. Very simple, right? And then we make our voice like this. Gordon's go-to cookware, calling all Ramsay fans. Okay, and now, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. You are going to have to spend like a couple minutes of work. I'm sorry, I, I, I know that the other side hustle videos, literally all you have to do is watch the video and apparently you get money. I don't know, I, I've, I've been trying it. I didn't get any money yet, but humor me. There is a little bit of work you have to do, okay? The work we're gonna do is spacing this out. Elevate your kitchen like Ramsey. Gear up, you know, you just space it so it doesn't go all together. When you're done, you're just gonna download the audio file right like this. Okay, it's just gonna be on your computer right here. There it is, fancy, wonderful. All we're gonna do is open up an editor, right? So here's a video editor. I use Camtasia. Camtasia is like 300 bucks. I've been using it since the dawn of time, which is why I pay for it, okay? You can use any free editor that you want. Does not matter. If you find a free editor, all it needs to do is have an audio track, a video track, and that's it. Okay, you can use royalty stuff, whatever you want. Make sure that you have the rights to everything and this will work. So now all I got to do is drag my audio right here. Okay, and again, it's going to be the edited audio. I, did, I didn't do it. Otherwise, this video would be like 14 hours long and I don't know if I can do that. I, you know, I, I try, but there you go. All right, so now we have our audio track. Elevate, Elevate your kitchen, kitchen like, Ramsey. like Ramsey. There you go. Pretty simple. Now, you want to make it simple? You could, let's say we're doing regular. So if you're doing regular, we have um, 1080 or 1920 by 1080, right? So you just go file, project settings, HD, okay? Right like that, super simple. Then we can go through, if, let's say we want to do uh, TikTok, okay? TikTok, you're going to do, I think it's 1080 by 1080. Is that the right TikTok one? I believe so, something like that. Or it might be the other way. It might be 1080 by 1920. There you go. If you get stuck, you could literally just go ask ChatGPT, what are the dimensions? Okay, very simple. So now we're going through and we're like, okay, now I could go through and get some clips. Let's go over to story blocks and I typed in cookware and you could see all these pans and stuff like that. Very simple. So if I wanna go through, I can download this. Apparently I need to log in. Here we go. Got to prove I'm not a robot to the robot. There you go, robot. I, I promise I'm not a robot. There we go. All right, and we'll just download the uh, MP4 like this. Okay, that'll be fine. You can even do the small one. If you got a slow computer, use a small one. It ain't gonna really matter. Most people are gonna watch them on their phone, so it ain't really gonna matter. And all we do is we build our video, okay? And we'll be like, hey, here's the top 10 cookwares by your favorite chefs. All right, and you can have like a pan like this or whatever it is, super simple, or shrink it down, okay, like this. And then you can do text on it or whatever, or you could go to uh, theprofitscoop.com. I got tons of tools for you over there. We can go through and utilize the easy video caption maker. This is what we use in my AI video business, um, and it, it works like crazy. I mean, I have complete new video makers that are doing fantastic work with this. Okay, so we'll just do like this, and we'll do top cookware 
used by Chef Ramsay. Okay, now why is this important? Why don't I just type it? Well, because I want them to be a, um, its own image. Okay, this is important. Watch how this speeds it up. If I'm sitting here and I'm typing in and I'm like, oh, hey, let me type this. Now let me change it. It's a pain. And then if I do effects, it's going to be even more of a pain. Watch this. I literally go here and I'm like, okay. Okay, where'd it go? Somewhere over here. Do, 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 do. There it is. All right, when I download it, it's going to download three files. Those three files are the different texts. Drag those onto my timeline. Boop. Right like that. Again, I'm telling you, sound effects make life so much better. All right, so we'll do that. Okay, come on now. Where'd they go? Come on. Where'd they go? All right, well, you would drag them in there and it'd be very simple. Let's try it again. For some reason, it just wants to be funny. There we go. So I'll do like that. Oh, you know what? I think I dragged them onto the desktop. There you go. So even if I can do this, you can do this. There you go. All right, so we'll do like this. Top cookware. Do, 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 do. Make it big. Now, the cool thing about having images is it makes it so much easier because I could just add like little effects and stuff like that. Boop. All right, like this. All right, and then. And like Ramsey. Gear up with. Chef Ramsey. Okay, and then you could add music or whatever. Um, if you're using something like video blocks, you'll get the rights to it, which makes it super, super easy. Okay, very, very cool. Uh, let's see here. Um, there we go, Chef Ramsay. So you just go through, and then I could say, okay, well now, now we're talking about a specific skillet. Okay, skillet, something like that. Okay, and you can find different things like that. You can also show like, oh, here it is on Amazon. Here's how much it costs. Right, or, or something like this. Very, very simple, very easy. Maybe talk about why he likes them or whatever it is. And then you can do, you know, like um, kitchen knives or whatever it is. It's very simple. You're gonna create the videos, you're gonna put them out there. You can also take the video you created, make a Pinterest, make a blog post. As you guys see, I'm literally using the AI created blog post to create the good content about this stuff. And, and people all the time, they come to me and they're like, Marcus, you know, using AI, aren't you gonna get junk content? Yeah, you're gonna get junk content if you ask it for junk content. But what we're doing is we're looking at the intent of someone who would watch this. What is the intent of someone who would wanna know what Gordon Ramsay uses? Like if I go out there and I'm like, just talk about how Gordon Ramsay cooks, yeah, that's gonna be a junk content. But if I go through here and I say, okay, what are some similar versions or whatever. Then I can go through and utilize something like Offer Vault, type in cookware. We could see here, La Crusette happens to be one of the ones that was recommended here. Okay, so cast iron king, Dutch oven, whatever. And I can see that by selling that through an, a network on Offer Vault, I'm getting $35 a sale. Okay, or 30, yeah, 35, 33, right? And now we're looking at this. Pardon me. All right, is my sound not working? We're trying here. Okay. Are we back? Hopefully we're back. We're trying. Smash the like button if you appreciate the work that goes into these. There's a lot going on. If you guys saw my desk here, it's pretty crazy. You guys want a little tour towards the end? All right, so now we have this. Now it's very important that when we're doing this, we don't want this big long URL. We want it to just be slash Gordon or slash slash Ramsey, okay? That way when we tell people to do this, it's go to top10chef.com slash Ramsey. 
simple okay we want it to be super super easy everyone can remember this nobody's gonna spell it wrong we're good okay and then we go through we can add the locker set affiliate program in there as well we would put that down here or right here and then we can find other ones as well all we're gonna do is find this like here's a cast iron skillet here we go we could go on Amazon or whatever and find a cast iron skillet super simple right we don't want to overthink this we want to make it easy then what's going to happen is we're going to have a bunch of these blog posts top10chef.com slash ramsey top10chef.com slash guy that way we don't have to try to spell um guy fieri or whatever okay very simple and all we're going to do is build these out make content point to them okay now some of these will rank some of them will do good right we could go through and, and we could do a press release right go out there and we're like okay what other type things can we do and maddie's here maddie's one of our um blog profit network students who was telling us about some sales he got yesterday um he also back in the day i think it was on black friday used our press release strategy and i think he made like 500 dollars in in one day or something like that which was crazy and awesome and it wasn't that difficult to do and a lot of stuff's not difficult you just have to do it but he used that method and again results not typical and blighter guaranteed you might do a press release and make nothing that's a fact i mean this is a business right it's like you, you got to do the work you got to be willing to do it and i got to tell you you know if i look at my 25 year career in affiliate marketing versus doing a regular job i think i got a much better reward doing this affiliate thing right and so we go out there and we're like okay now i can do a press release okay am i going to do a press release on just ramsey no i'm going to do it on all the top chefs i'm going to get a bulk overview and see what it ranks for because if i have guy fieri gordon ramsey here's the top pans that all these people use and guys if you don't believe me that this works go look at fox news cnn other news sites they're doing this mark my words go look at it this is what they are doing a lot of the examples i showed you in the beginning this is what they're doing they do a press release on all this stuff and they're doing affiliate marketing you say oh marcus isn't affiliate marketing just some youtube hype thing well no the honey app makes billions of dollars with it cnn big companies are making billions and billions of dollars with affiliate marketing and the quicker you realize hey this is a real business that has to do with traffic we are driving traffic to these specific things and if your press release now has links to your blog post guess what's going to happen to your blog google's going to be like oh wait a minute i think this is about all these celebrity cookware things let's boost this thing up in the rankings and it's going to be amazing if you're doing finance stuff think about this with finance people when you look at it, a press release here are what the top 20 financial expert guru people are saying about 2024 you think that's going to get traffic of course it's going to get traffic right and you might the traffic might drop if you do a terrible job but you should be able to get some good traffic and if you don't break it up here's what Susie Orman says about 2024 here's what the guy with the glasses says about 2024 here's that guy on Fox News who's always yelling at everybody says about 2024 and what's going to happen is you're piggybacking on the names okay piggybacking on the names this is something people do all the time I got a buddy um, we did a video with years ago uh, his name's Evan Carmichael Evan Carmichael I think I know he had a, a good solid seven-figure business he might be bigger than that now he's got a ton of content utilizing here's what Oprah says about this here's what Tony I mean go look it up Evan Carmichael you can see him this is what he's doing he's making a lot of money now he uses a lot of clips from the actual people I don't recommend that he has a full team of people that that fight the stuff right they're like hey we're gonna get the rights to it or whatever fly under the radar just use the name stock footage things you have the rights to doesn't matter right make it easy right? he's making a bazillion dollars we just want to make a living you want to make hundred fifty dollars a day this is not something that I think is difficult is everyone gonna do it is it guaranteed of course not but how hard would it be thirty five dollars a sale five sales a day you're at 150 bucks not that hard to do five sales or three sales something like that I don't know you do the math right 
but it's very simple. And all you would need to do is be like, hey, here's the content, here's the names, here's what's going on. This is something that people do all the time. And having your own blog is key. If you can't afford your own blog, my advice would be get your own blog. Go to gohubsite.com. But if you can't, there are ways to do this with affiliate links. A lot of people will put the affiliate links in the video uh, description and things like that. So it's very simple. Um, don't some affiliate offers have stipulations like no press release? They do. But what we're doing is not sending a press release to the offer. We're sending the press release to our website. See, this is something that flies under the radar. Um, and we've talked about this before on, on my uh, big affiliate marketing video. We talked about this, right? When you do email marketing, okay? If you do email marketing and you are sending people to an affiliate offer directly, this is much like what we would call email, okay? Or if you're doing a press release, that would fall under press release. But if we are bypassing this and sending them to our blog, now what we're categorized is web or display traffic, okay? This is what they want, right? When you're looking at it and it's like, okay, don't do paid search. What they don't want is they don't want you to bid on hex clad pans and send them to hex clad pans. That's what they don't want. But if I go out there and I bid on uh, Gordon Ramsay famous cookware or uh, Gordon Ramsay recommended whatever, you're going to have this under the radar because we're using a website. This is called like being a real affiliate. Okay, a lot of people, they'll mess around with Bitly and things like that. And it's like, don't do that. Like they'll do that with Amazon and it's like, you ain't gonna make any money. Amazon's not gonna pay you if you cloak your link. But when I have my site, what's happening is I'm building it up and there is nothing more powerful than building something that's gonna grow over time. When I hit this with a Gordon Ramsay one or a Guy Fieri or whatever, or Susie Orman and Robert Kiyosaki and then, and, and, uh, you know, whatever other financial guru is out there. This is going to grow because what's gonna happen is you'll be like, oh, hey, this one gets uh, 25 visitors a day. Oh, hey, this one did really well, we get 300 visitors a day. Oh, this one sucked, we only got like two visitors a day. This one was a zinger, we got 1,500. What's gonna happen is now you don't have to do any extra work to get this traffic. It's there, it's doing its work for you. It's making the money day in and day out, whether you do anything else or not. And it's building a common theme. Your niche is celebrity cookware or celebrity financial advice. And this is info you don't gotta be a rocket science to figure out. You don't have to have all this knowledge of this stuff. We can use AI and think about it in a different way. What we need to do is think about, okay, is there a topic that's popular? Yeah, AI is popular. What does Susie Orman think about AI stocks? What does The Motley Fool think about AI stocks? What does this person think about that, this, the other? And because you are piggybacking on the traffic, watch what happens, right? You're gonna go through and you'll be like, okay, uh, new chat, please list 25 top finance gurus like Susie Ormond, um, who else? ECT, and let's see, it'll, it'll do something like that, right? And it'll go through, and what's gonna happen is we are now going to see everything, right? We're gonna see everything, and it's like, okay, now just list the people, the names, okay? Now, when we put this through, right, like this, Okay, we're gonna wait, apparently. Um, but what's gonna happen is you're gonna see that people look these guys up like crazy. Watch this. Bill Ackman, okay? Look at that, 26,000 a month, net worth, Twitter, reading list. Let's try um, Bill Ackman stock, stocks or stock picks, okay? Warren Buffett. On and on we go, okay? Not a whole lot of traffic, but this is a market where you can promote like the Motley Fool, $75 a sale. And there's gonna be ads and all kinds of things which is gonna work really cool. And when we get the list, right, like this, let's see if it'll just do the names. 
you'll see the power of how this, how many of you guys are seeing the power? Smash the like button and type powerful side hustle as a comment in, in, in the uh, chat box as well. Okay. That's a huge distinction, web and display traffic versus pay-per-click. Exactly. And when you realize that, it's like, okay, there you go. Now, remove the, please. Okay. And it'll remove these and it should work in a very, very simple way if it decides to do this. There we go. And you can see here, let's do this and bada bing, bada boom, it's gonna work like crazy. Home improvement celebrities, all kinds of stuff like this, we're gonna set them up and knock them down. Very simple. Uh, here's what Susie Orman or Warren Buffett think about AI. Um, go down the list. And if you did that, I mean, the celebrity one for the, the finance is actually gonna be a lot more money available because then you can do each issue plus the thing, okay? Chefs, you could too, like here's how Gordon Ramsay says to cook an egg. Here's how this guy says to cook an egg. You could do that kind of thing, okay? For Ramsay, you're batching him out on multiple posts. I'm gonna make multiple pieces of content, not necessarily multiple posts, because my blog is not the traffic generator king in this example. We're gonna use other stuff, okay? But look at this, we have uh, Warren Buffett, Dave Ramsey's, like all these guys, and, and there you go. Um, Dave Ramsey is a very popular one, right? You could do, uh, what does Dave Ramsey think about um, AI, okay? I like this, nothing there. Let's try credit. What does he think about credit, right? And then you would just go through and say, okay, um, what does Dave Ramsey think about credit? Okay, Bard or Gemini. Sorry, Gemini, I know that you're Bard now. Or, sorry, Bard, I know that, strike that, reverse it. Right, we go through and say something like, what does uh, Dave Ramsey say bad about credit? Okay, now watch this. This is where the rubber meets the road. What does Dave Ramsey say? Now what does Warren Buffett say, right? And, and it's doing the work for us. We just take the, the ones we want, make it into an image. If we're using Pinterest, make it into uh, an image if we're using Instagram, make it into a video if we're using TikTok, make it into a blog post, whatever you want. Uh, Nebel says, can I use Blogger? You can, um, I mean, like if you do all of this, and at the end of the day, you're using some free service, you don't own it. It's very difficult. You want something that you own, which is why, in my opinion, getting a $9 a month blog and a domain name is key. Now, if you have to just, if you're like, all I can do is use Blogger, fine, but get a domain, right? Go, go to one of those Namecheap or something where you can get a domain for $4. Bare minimum, get a domain, okay? Now, can you do it without it? Yes, you can. But again, all of this stuff that you're compounding is not going to build up the way it would if you had an actual blog and you had actual links and stuff like that. Now, you can go out there and, and get a $4 domain or however much they are. I think GoDaddy, you can get one for a penny or something like that if you buy it for five years, something, right? It's not super expensive. You can do that and you can use redirects on that. Again, not super recommended, but you, you can. You can redirect it to your blogger if you want to. Um, but again, if you're in it to win it and you're like, okay, I want this to build and grow, then I would highly recommend um, getting uh, web hosting and stuff like that. Again, we have links and things. I'm gonna put the entire notes from this video, including like a play-by-play -play of how to set this up over at downloadmynotes.com, which should flash up on the screen down there somewhere, there it is, downloadmynotes.com. Um, I'll have them all for you. If you like my training and you wanna learn more, we got Blog Profit Network, we got High Ticket Niches. I do this stuff all the time. This is what we do, uh, very, very simple. Um, I'm learning more on media content generation, shorts. How many clips should I focus on each day? I mean, it depends on how much time you have. Uh, if it was me, I'd probably do like three to five per day. I, I think that's reasonable. Um, and then again, this is a kind of thing you can outsource. I have a, a content business uh, right now over at contentprofitstrategy.com and we're starting to do video. 
And I mean, like literally you could get videos done. I think right now we have them at a hundred bucks a pop, which is unparalleled. Like the quality we're getting is better than stuff that's like $2,000 per video. Um, and these are the kind of things that, that you can do, but it's something you can do your own or learn to make videos, sell it as a service and then pay for your web hosting or something like that. You have to be very deliberate and strategic with your content, your time and your money, right? A lot of people though think nothing of spending, you know, a bunch of money for some drop shipping course or whatever without even knowing their niche. Okay. If that's you go to blogprofitnetwork.com. Let me teach you the real way to do this. We have calls every Tuesday. You can ask questions. You can get help. All kinds of stuff. Blogprofitnetwork.com. Um, let me help you with that, right? Or if you want to do it on your own, there's lots of stuff here too. You, you don't have to worry about anything like that. Uh, but Eric says the videos we're doing is, is crazy. Um, let's see here. Shouldn't I rephrase ChatGPT or Gemini written stuff? Well, what you want to do is you want to use Grammarly. So Grammarly is going to check for plagiarism. Okay, as far as like bypassing AI filters, I think that's an, I think that's overrated. Like I'm having, like, look at this. We are ranking stuff like crazy in a real world way. Um, we got, uh, if Maddie's here, we got his, his podcast uh, site and he's ranking for all kinds of podcast stuff, podcast. Um, and a lot of this, I think all of it actually is AI generated, right? And you look at it and it's like, okay, um, he's starting to build up. Again, this was a domain we took over. You will see this thing start to skyrocket as it's already starting to. Um, and ranking for stuff works really well. You guys saw Moji Edit. Moji Edit is one that uh, we did. This is 100% AI content, right? 13,000 rankings in Google, tons of traffic, things doing crazy. All right. And, and again, do we need to rephrase this? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. The key is going to be Rather than worrying about rephrasing, check for plagiarism. That's number one. You never want to plagiarize anything. So we'll check in Grammarly like this. Done. Hit the little plagiarism tab down here. Let me scoot this up. There it is. Plagiarism tab. Make sure that there's no glaring plagiarism. Like high interest rate, yeah, that'll probably be plagiarized. That's probably on a bunch of sites. But we're seeing it is 100% original. Great. Now, instead of focusing on bypassing AI detectors, focus on good content, focus on unique content. Could I make a post about what these people think about AI stocks? Yeah, and that's gonna be unique. I don't think a lot of other people are doing that, okay? Very simple. Um, you gotta look at that, all right? And, and then we just go through and we compile. What we're doing is compiling. Can you reword it if you want to? I mean, I'm not seeing a whole lot of issues with, with this kind of thing here, right? I can make a video on this. It is, it is bypassing plagiarism. Um, and you could, you could fact check, make sure that, you know, Gordon Ramsay does use those pans. Make sure that uh, Susie Orman or whoever it is did say this stuff. Um, not that hard to do. It's making it very, very simple, right? And we're like, okay, there we go. We just go out there, we do it. Now we're getting an 8%, so high interest credit cards can often... I mean, that's, I'm not too worried about that because what I'm worried about is like, if this block comes up plagiarized, yeah, that's a problem. Or the top 10 list is exactly like someone else's top 10 list. That's a problem. Um, but as far as like little things, not too worried about it. Falling behind in payments, negatively encrypt. And then you could tweak them out, can, you know, mess up your credit score, right? Mess it out or, or, or tweak it and put it in your own stuff. Um, how many blogs do you need? One for every niche. Um, no, I mean, depending on the niche, like I would have one. So the top chef one is going to be for everything chef. And then maybe for the finance one, I'd have a finance one. Um, so I would have one for every category, uh, not like, oh, hey, here's one for Gordon Ramsay. Here's one for whatever, because then, you know, you don't want to use their, their names in your domain. You're just sharing overviews of what these people are using, what they're saying and stuff like that. And if you do it and you double down, you will start to get traction. It's not a matter of, of if, it's a matter of when. And it's very simple. It's something where, you know, utilizing this traffic, you're always going to find non-competitive. Because look at this, okay? Let's get to the, the rubber meat in the road here because there is an elephant in the room. I don't know, is there? Well, there's that thing. There, there's a donkey in the room. Here we go. The donkey in the room, and it's not me, it's this here. 
not to be confused, right? The donkey in the room is that um, if you were to go finance, like most people trying to do marketing online, they're going to go here and be like, credit card. And they'll be like, oh my gosh, it is too competitive. Okay, well, people looking at Dave Ramsey stuff are interested in credit cards. Well, let's do this. There we go. There we go. Um, so there you go. Boom. Super easy, right? This is, this is competitive. However, Dave Ramsey credit or whatever is going to be way less competitive. And that is the thing that works in a very simple way, if we spell it right, credit, we'll just do Dave Ramsey. Um, because that's what they're doing is there's traffic for this stuff. There's some kind of baby step thing or whatever it is. And you'll see when you Google this, you know, um, you're going to see other people talking about it. Very simple. Um, Ramsey Solutions, debt.org, um, Check City, right? And you're looking at it and you're like, okay, check it out. I'll bet you this site is doing the same thing on a bunch of stuff, right? If we go here, um, let's do personal finance and see if he talks about other uh, gurus in there. Overview, keywords, Dave Ramsey, um, you have... Let's see some other ones. Let's do by volume. Maybe volume will help. Dave Ramsey, formula. Um, and then you'll find all kinds of things. If you do like Susie Orman or, or whatever, you will see that a lot of these people are talking about multiples. And let me see if I can find one to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's see. Maybe like this here. And you should, okay, that there. There we go. You should be able to see um, different things that rank. Let's do traffic. And they will probably most likely have like stock names. Um, see how the stock names? Same kind of thing. People are going for stock market. Go for individual names. Talk about those. Um, go for the, the people or whatever it is, and you will see, hey, this thing works. Uh, let's do keyword, keyword, there we go. Um, Ormond, right? Chances are you're going to see all kinds of different stuff here. Uh, let's do Buffett. Come on. There you go. See, Buffett. Um, let's do Ramsey. Right, you got a Chef Ramsey and a, a Finance Ramsey. There you go. Uh, Ramsey, and then you'll have, uh, let's see, who else? Elon Musk, right like that. Boom. Bezos. Are you guys getting it? This is, I mean, this is the real world stuff. This is how it works. This is how people make lots of money. Um, and bada bing, there you go. Like when you look at this, this is something that works over and over and over again for those willing to do it. We can use Google Gemini, we can use AI, we can create content, we can put them back to the things that are making us money, and this is a real business. And if you enjoyed it, check out uh, downloadmynotes.com. We'll have a play-by-play -play that you can use. Very simple, okay? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you liked it. Um, if you want to work with me, check out highticketniches.com. Download mynotes.com for the notes. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you in Friday's video.